Fam, we're back. Hey, hey. We're searching for uh, Diamonds in the Rough and Nifty's in the Wild. I'm here with Jana, and we're excited to bring this week's show to you. Uh, shout out NFT Insider and Hydro. Um, this is where we get all our information, and we compile it and do the research that you don't have to. Um, we got a really exciting show for you today. We've got some taco sauce. Is um, They're collabing with Blockchain Brawlers. We've got uh, Brawler Sauce. Um, Elemental Wars, a new game. Uh, Duckles is going to be collabing um, with Crypto Swatch. Pizza Slice, we got Lupe, of course, collabing with Wax Balls. And uh, the Bunville girls are back. And so yeah, let's get, let's get into it. Uh, we can start with some news. Atomic Hub is announcing that uh, they're going to have an Easter egg hunt. And it's from Friday to Sunday, April 15th to 17th. So keep an eye on, our so on their social channels and your favorite creators to find clues, solve riddles, and earn exclusive NFTs with a 1500 wax prize pool up for grabs. That's wow. super amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see which which creators are in this one. Um, I did see a tweet from somebody was asking if there was some Lupe eggs and not this time, but that would be amazing. There, there's a uh, 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 mentioning of uh, the Twitter spaces on Friday. They have a Twitter spaces 19 UTC. Um, I, I think it uh, kicks off the Easter egg hunt if I, I've seen it correct. So look yeah. and yeah, uh, take care for joining the, the, the Twitter spaces on Friday with Atomic. Well, looks like fun. Looks like fun. I, I can't wait to check it out. Also, uh, like we mentioned, the girls of Bunmail are back, right? Speaking of Easter, they're going to have their Easter drops. And uh, it looks like uh, they sold out real quick. We went over uh, Bun Bells uh, a couple of shows ago, and that was during Women's Month, and we were kind of discussing, is it okay to exploit women on the blockchain? What does everybody think and all of that? So we're not going to do too much with them. But uh, yeah, this is a super hot, uh, rare Madison Easter Bunny. It says that the blend was sold out in minutes. So uh, get your Easter packs, everybody. Super cool design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty, pretty dope art, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Yeah. Next now, up in the news. now, now, oh, if no, you, no, now, no. now you know where, where, uh, who, who put your ex in the garden, been the girls <laughs> of Barnvale. Uh, yeah. Totally. Right on. So yeah, next up in the news we have. Damn. This, you buddy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mark Zuckerberg is back at it. Uh, looks like Meta will charge creators fees up to 47.5%. I've never that's, seen that's... even any artist considering yeah. asking for so much royalties on 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 right. stuff and 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 we we we've we've uh, ranting on 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 marketplaces which which charged the market fee a little bit higher than we expected. But yeah. what the fuck, 47.5%? Yeah, talk about scaring off your investors um, and your collectors. But yeah, for virtual goods, virtual wearables in this metaverse, um, you know, it actually, like, we're going to go into this a little bit. It says, uh, Meta will charge creator fees of up to 47.5% to sell virtual wares in, this, in its metaverse significantly more than apple charges developers on its app store so that's already crazy because everybody knows how apple is they take yeah. so much of their creators you know money i guess and uh it I, really I, does I, kind of stifle, apple know, store was around 30 percent as far as i know uh, and and this is ridiculous already uh, when when you when you think that this marketplace is just putting putting your your stuff into a showcase uh and and uh okay has has all the reach but hey come on 47.5 what's what's it in his yeah, head it's like you know they do 47 percent, and of course they're gonna have to tack another five percent on for you even you know what I'm saying? after 47 percent, they even get you with another 0.5 think so, think of know, a token distribution and uh, 40 40 uh, 51 percent as as the absolute security threshold and and think yeah. of what what seven uh, 47.5 percent means 
it's not just about the money who owns right. half of your soul. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> half of your soul. That's exactly what it is. And it's, I don't know, it might turn off a lot of people that were maybe on the fence. It was thinking, okay, Zuckerberg and, and everybody knows his flaws, right? They, you know, to be fair, uh, Mark Zuckerberg has actually done a lot of good, you know, for the space, but the way he does it is, is kind of questionable, you know, but 47, you know, 0.5%, that's just, man. Um, but yeah, this, this kind of read on and, and it says that uh, Meta and its CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, have previously criticized Apple for charging developers a 30% fee, like you mentioned, Jenna, in their uh, in-app purchases in the store and uh, Zuckerberg said it in a Facebook post in November that Meta was making changes to help Metaverse creators evade Apple's App Store fee. So doesn't sound like he was being completely uh, honest, if that's the word, the right word to use. Um, he said, as we build the Metaverse, we're focused to unlocking opportunities for creators to make money from their work. The 30% fees that Apple takes on transactions make it harder to do that. So we're updating our subscription product so now creators can earn more, which I guess that's not the case. Meta charges a platform fee of 30%. So that's already on par with the Apple Store, right? Just right off the bat for the sales made on MetaQuest. It's virtual reality system, which was formerly known as Oculus. On top of that, Horizon Worlds, Meta's Metaverse system will charge another 25% fee. This means Meta will take a pretty substantial cut of 47.5% of the sale price, leaving the seller with 52.5%. So it looks like it's like a 50-50 thing, you know, and that's kind of common in U.S. business. Um, I know Meta's not exactly a U.S. company per se. You know, they like to boast a global platform, but 50-50 is, is, is kind of the model in the old business world. And it's like, this is not the old business world. And I don't think Mark Zuckerberg quite understands you know, the whole thing that we're doing here in, in the metaverse and in the crypto world, it's like, this is for us. This is for the artists, you know, it's, you don't need that much money from, from the artist, you know, it's like, who are you going to have come create on your show? I mean, on your platform, if you're going to like charge so much, but again, it is another outlet for artists. So arguably this could be, I guess, maybe a good thing i don't know it depends how easy it is i guess for the artists to create and stuff but yeah um if anyone wants to drop their two cents in the chat and let us know what they think um you can do that we'd love to hear your opinion um they continued over time we plan to bring horizon worlds to more platforms and so the platform fee won't always be going to meta okay as horizon worlds rolls out to more platforms like mobile, we expect those platforms to charge their own fee. So maybe even more on top of that, the Horizon Worlds fee, which is 25% of the remainder would be applied after any relevant hardware platform fee has been applied. Hmm. Vivek Shrama, Meta's VP of Horizon told The Verge, we think it's a pretty competitive rate in the market. Yeah, in the old market. We believe in other platforms being able to have their share. Meta announced in October last year, it was rebranding from Facebook, as we all know, the shift of its focus from social media to so-called metaverse technology, a future vision of the internet, which is accessed through immersive technologies such as VR. So, yeah. Uh, he's he's competing with Web 2. That's the reason. From oh, exactly. from from Web 2 to to Horizon and Meta, there might be might be some some uh, interesting uh, points. But we are in Web 3, in, in our Web 3 bubble, bubble, and looking like back to Web 2 and everything in between those uh, states uh, doesn't make sense. It's not competitive. No to all the other metaverses at the moment the entry on a on a on a, a metaverse uh, uh, where you need to own a parcel to build might be very high but think of long term if you if you're giving away 50 50% of your sales it's kind of even higher in the long term so right. Which, so uh, right. many people yeah. will build because it's like the next gate opening to 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 showcase your stuff to to sell your stuff uh, one amazon is 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 or one ebay is not enough there are other uh, uh, 
opportunities to easy easy uh, sell your 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 traditional stuff uh, like Shopify or, or whatever market uh, you uh, or web web shop you you want to start uh, and and so so for the metaverse there are more opportunities than just meta so i i don't understand it uh, he he will he will uh, get a lot of people who who are in web 2 and bridging later to web 3 maybe he will get a lot of them and a lot of creators from web 3 too but i i'm not sure how many will accept and agree to to uh, the 50 per, almost 50 percent yeah so um hey uh i see that rizzle has joined us um you can unmute if you want rizzle and um welcome to the show you're just in time oh, guys uh, hey we're hey. talking about you got hey man good to see you bro um, Yo, thanks for having me uh yeah, so hey. I, I was, was for the moment so i appreciate uh y'all letting me on oh man it's all good dude welcome so uh just uh, for our audience sake, um, in case you don't know who Rizzle is, he's a influencer that focuses on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, he's been in the space for a very long time, uh, maybe six years, Rizzle, something like that. But uh, Well, NFTs since the beginning, crypto since like 2012, so a while, a while nice. now. Yeah, so everybody, uh, let's welcome Rizzle. And like I said, you're just in time, Rizzle. We're talking about how Zuckerberg here with his meta company is going to charge creators a fee up to 47.5%, which in my opinion is going to have to drive up the prices, right? Artists are going to have to raise their fees. So goodbye to the whole micro, you know, model. And uh, hello, Mark Zuckerberg. And, uh, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, bro, if you're out there, I don't know what you're doing, man, but you might want to give us a holler. Uh, follow us over at uh, dot gems underscore and uh, we can kind of maybe coach you on some better ways. To do it. You, you and, said uh, it very yeah. welcoming. Well, uh, uh, I, I would <laughs> almost say goodbye, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, it, it feels kind of really awkward when when i think of that we are building it for for everything for artists and and, and communities and and uh, see a, a major company uh, ripping so much away from from the energy uh, which has been created so yeah 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 any thoughts on this result what do you think oh dude uh, yes i have thoughts <laughs> echo uh, <laughs> what uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, echo what you guys were saying when I uh, just popped in here. I mean, it, it just, it feels like so predatory, right? Like, I, I feel like the people who will fall for this or, or whatever you would say are like, you know, basically web two people who don't know any better. Because if you know better, you just wouldn't subject yourself to like, you right. know, literally like rugging yourself of 47.5% of your profits or whatever. So I feel like it's it's like literally just taking advantage of people who don't realize that there is a completely different option out there. Uh, and, and I, I guess my hope is sort of that maybe this bridges some of those people to dig a little bit deeper and realize that this is sort of like a predatory model, uh, and that there are, are better ways out there. Um, just what you were saying, man. I did do some stuff on wax, if you remember, man. I had like a hot sauce drop like back That's in the right. day. We've, we've done a few things that. on wax, even though like most of my stuff is is on Ethereum, and that's sort of where I got my NFT roots in. But mm -hmm. I actually hold like a decent amount of wax tokens because I and I have for a long time because I still believe like people are largely sleeping on wax. Yeah, yeah. I think there were three cents when you hopped in, or we're at like about twenty seven. It actually went to a dollar at one point, uh, ninety seven cents or something when Binance. Um, added Dude. us to the platform, so yeah, not too Dude, bad. I'm such a believer. I haven't even like paid attention to the price. I like bought in, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm good. You know, it, I, I feel like uh, Wax has like carved out a niche that is different, and they do things better than a lot of other like competitive blockchains. So I'm I'm long on Wax, man. Uh, mom, <laughs> hey hey mom, I'm on the show. Uh, let me call you back. Thank you, mom. Hey mom. <laughs> she actually has called before on the show. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, speaking of wearables, man, um, might be a good time to go ahead and announce what you guys are doing over there. Um, you guys are dropping something called the on-chain chains. Um, yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. 
this is my like first like real drop in the space uh despite having been in the space for a long time um and really tried to build something that I wanted for myself. Uh, I, I feel like, you know, interoperability is something that like a lot of people talk about and say that we want, but in reality, there's not like a whole lot of interoperable stuff out there. Um, and I'm like big into metaverse stuff. I host a lot of like virtual events in like these different virtual worlds and everything. And so uh, I wanted to create like one thing that you could bring across like different worlds and everything. Um, and so uh, my, one of my running themes in a lot of my projects that I've been involved with is like putting all the metadata like 100% on the blockchain, um, uh, which is practical in some purposes and, and not for others. Uh, but if you're trying to make like a real, real solid, like high end NFT, that's like generally what people try to do with it. And so I, I tried to sort of cover all this ground and uh, actually went with art blocks. Uh, they put all their stuff on chain um they do and they do all generative art so I, I believe this is the first of its kind uh it's a generative wearable uh it's 100 percent on chain it offers some degree of interoperability like right off the bat and we're going to work to continue to bring it into other virtual worlds i just had monaverse hit me up uh, yesterday to try and figure out how to get the on-chain chains in there so uh, nice. I'm excited, man. It's it's like a NFT that you can actually like use and do something with like right away. Uh, it's certainly not like, you know, the flashy, popular, like trendy NFT drop to put out. You know, it's not a profile picture. But uh, like I said, man, I'm like deep into this space and tried to build something that uh, I liked and that I would want to use. Uh, and I feel like, you know, people who are this deep in would appreciate it as well. So uh, yeah. I say I built it, man, but I really just strung the pieces together. I found the platform that was willing to accept me. I found the developer who could figure it out. I found a dope artist that I love to do the art. So I'm sort of like the the, the concept uh, idea guy, uh, but it, it took a bunch of people to put all the pieces together and make this thing. And 10 months in production, man, and uh, launching tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern time, and I'm fucking terrified <laughs> right yeah man we all know how that is everyone watching this show probably has an idea of that um i wanted to kind of maybe quickly play this trailer real quick and show the audience uh what's up with this oh thank you man yeah, no problem the, the sound is dude who uh has long been helped me out with virtual events put this trailer together super dope man wearables for your avatars on chain chains completely on chain which means obviously that this will be on the blockchain forever right i messed it up <laughs> i messed it up i showed you both in large and the video was playing in the background do us a oh, favor no play it again it was so dope sure. and uh, really mm -hmm. a shout out to to paradox um we worked on on the new york eve together and he is amazing right. stuff doing really his cuts super his videos dude. yeah super talented so play again yeah, we, do that. we do that here we're live and uncut raw bro um so oh, what happened Again, super excited for this. Super Don't excited for you, Rizzo, man. Congratulations, you. You're still doing big things. So, trying to, man. Try, yeah. Trying to do, and dude, I know you uh, have done a lot of the same type of stuff in terms of like, you know, trying to involve yourself in projects and do things within the space that actually like move the needle forward a little bit, like, you know, build something on the technology that's like worthwhile instead of just trying to like, you know, drop something and, you know, just, you know, extract as much money as possible, like trying to try to build out this ecosystem in like the way uh, that it should be done, man. And I know, uh, I know you appreciate that. And you've involved yourself with a lot of people who like really appreciate that. So 
that's what I'm going for, man. We'll, we'll see if people care. <laughs> oh man, they'll care. Yeah, I think, I think, I think they will. It's it's super dope idea. And as you mentioned, it's it's going to be interoperable on a, on multiple chains. It will. So the easiest way forward after like much discussion to get this into like virtual worlds is basically give access to the different file types or at least enough file types that you can convert to bring it into all these places because a lot of these virtual worlds are still like sort of siloed uh so you need a little finesse to figure out how to get things into different places uh so that's going to be like a constant work in progress uh but so right now uh anyone who buys one will have immediate access to the dot box file, which uh, you can actually do a lot with. Uh, you, you can use that to, you know, essentially make a clone out of it to bring it into crypto voxels uh, or convert it into a different file type to bring it like somewhere else. Um, and so we're st still uh, working with uh, different platforms to try and figure out the most optimal way for people to use this in as many places as humanly possible. Uh, Jin, Toxam, Boombox Head, some of these like big leaders in like interoperability. I, I've been in uh, constant contact with trying to figure out <laughs> how to how to maximize this thing. Nice, nice guys. All right, that's super sweet. Yeah, it's dropping tomorrow, guys, on Artblocks. And um, if you're interested, man, grab yourself some on chain chains because I seriously doubt these things are going to last long. Is there a total supply, uh, Rizzo, or? 2000 total uh it will be a dutch auction that lasts under an hour total so it goes down to descending auction starting at 1.5 eth going all the way down to like 0 0.025 eth so like basically from a lot to nothing over the course of an hour uh which you know that whole setup also makes it extremely terrifying because i'm like oh my god you know the, my entire fate is in this like one hour with this project and everything but uh i sort of deferred to art blocks uh to figure you know in terms of like addition size pricing mechanism i'm like this this is the way they do things and and has worked for them in the past so i'm like you know i'll just roll with the experts on on this right on right on any idea what the market fee is is it going to be 47.5 percent uh art blocks you mean yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. oh, dude, I'm a little <laughs> slow on the uptake. No, our box takes a small cut. 25% goes to charity, though, of like the oh, initial yeah, I saw that. So if it, if it does yeah, well, yeah, you uh, we selected a rainforest. Uh, I forget the name off the top of my head, but it's a rainforest. It's charity definitely on your profile, on your Twitter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 around here somewhere. Um, but it's cool, man. I, I It's awesome that, you know, that's sort of like art blocks culture that, you know, a significant chunk goes to charity and uh you know if we can sort of do that as well 25 percent is a nice chunk man it's like yeah. uh it's, yeah. it's more yeah. than some like charity projects in this right space. right it's it's half the price of mark zuckerberg's market fee and it's actually going to be going to somewhere that's useful instead yeah, of man. the Great pockets of a trillionaire helping frogs and trees and stuff right <laughs> yeah all right man hey rizzle man thanks for uh for joining us you're more than, more than welcome to stay and uh Watch the rest of the show and talk about these drops or uh, if you're super busy you can also um pop off if you need to but we'd love to have you stay um, cool, man. i'll hang out cool um so this is cast stickers right um every single show we love to to go ahead and shout out cast stickers it's a super dope collection oh my god uh, we can check them out on epi box real quick Rizzle. they're actually modeled after like real life cats and um you can actually like submit a picture of your cat to them and stuff like that and Oh they like mint them out it. yeah and it's like bro there this is like right up my alley dude I like love... yeah i know it <laughs> yeah um they go all day bro um cats 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 there's like um look amazing try to check out the website real quick but as you can see they sell out real fast right there's a super uh limited they... supply and uh they're going they're for like two yeah hours. Yeah, they're very like. Dude, I need, I need cat stickers. I, I know, I know, dude. I sh I probably shouldn't have showed you this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, I should admit, probably leave this show, man. <laughs> yeah, no, hey, come on, a dangerous man. wormhole for me to go down right now. Bro, bro, um, you mentioned you were sitting on some rocks, so like, here's a spot to go ahead and you know use that True. stuff. Yes. Um, yep, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go ahead and kind of um, look at some of the stuff on the market here. I got a few of these. Um, Martin, which is which is not with us, um, he's on vacation, but he went all, all crazy. He's already like a mega not, uh, cat collector. But yeah, check him out. And they got really cool names like the Grinch Cat, uh, Gingerbread, Rusty, right? This is a drop. 
another collection on wax, uh, Rusty the Red Panda. Um, so that's modeled probably after that. And I really uh, like the Cactus Cat. Cactus Cat, man, you haven't seen nothing yet, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, here's like the whole of them. We're gonna have to hop on the website. Let's see if we can. Let's see, catstickers.com. Okay, so this is the this is them, cat stickers, right? Atomic Hub, Nancy Blocks. Here's the custom cats. We'll look, we'll look back that in a minute, but it's like so. This is an independent artist. Um, I think they're coming from South Africa, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's an NFT, a non-fungible token, which basically a digital asset. We all know that. You follow them on Discord, Twitter, and check out our cat collection below. So it's a really cool website too. All the missing cats are here. And then when you buy, so yeah, I got Chestnut. They'll all show up here. This is Jupiter. I wanted to show you that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Super funny one. And uh, dude, like I said, they go all day. There's a cat literally for everybody. And uh, yeah, I'm not quite the collector that some people are, but um where is it at they talk about the different levels of cat collector the, the more nfts you have it can it tells you see if you own more than 20 percent of the collection you're a cat lover if you own more than 50 percent, you're a cat collector right if you own 100 percent of the cat stickers you're a cat completionist and if you own over 150 cats on the cat stickers collection you're a crazy cat hoarder so <laughs> yeah so we'll see but we'll see where we go you know Amazing. but yeah that's cat stickers though um as I mentioned, there's custom cats, right? You want your cat to become a custom cat sticker in a tea, head over to their Discord, share your cat picture, post a photo of your kitty, preferably sitting from the front, right? As, not from the back, as we showed you, but that's actually my <laughs> cat sticker. And uh, you could be the next in line to receive a custom cat sticker. So yeah, wow. man, shout out cat stickers. What an awesome project. project. Yeah. Yeah, can, can you have a look on Nefty if uh, if a new drop uh, blend blend recipe is open? Maybe? Yeah, I believe I believe they have like an Easter drop, an Easter oh. drop cat. Yeah, um, I need to know, and our users. Blend, to, right? But it, but ah, it's not not uh, live maybe, but it's coming. It here, Maurice, who has passed over <laughs> here. I like Maurice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, um, go ahead and check that out later on your own time, Rizzo, and you'll be like, dude, these things are insane. So, yeah, that's that's Cat Stickers, guys. Um, anything else you might want to check out? Um, Jenna? Any, no. Anything? No, right. we have Cat, cat Stickers uh, featured uh, every week, so yeah, <laughs> let's, <excellent>. let's move. <laughs> All right, so moving on, we got a new brawler coming out, um, Rizzo. Blockchain Brawlers is a new wrestling game. It's it's a cross chain. It's cross chain with uh, Binance and Wax. You collect these res uh, wrestlers. You you wrestle them in real time. It's a play to earn. Um, super um, expensive, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. They went from like a hundred bucks to like six thousand bucks or something. Some oh, of them. Sure. And yeah. So the new wrestler we got here is uh, Duke Neutron. So let's welcome Duke Neutron to the platform. Born and raised on Three Mile Island, Rizzle, Duke Neutron brings the meltdown. When you hear your siren go off, you know he's lured his, important, his opponent into the disaster zone. Being radioactive only adds to his mystique. So, Do you uh, actually if, wrestle them, or is it like a card game type of thing? Um, I think it's... I don't know, let's check it out. Yeah. I haven't played the game. Yeah. Yeah. There was a meme going, going uh, around... Um, it's 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 a click game at the moment. People people okay. expect it a little bit more, but it's a you 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 can buy a ring and you can buy a wrestler and up for, up from then I'm not sure, but but you can can use the ring and the wrestler to 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 make a match and you receive uh, uh, tokens, brawler tokens, and uh, I think it's play to earn. And uh, many yeah. many people said uh, it was uh, worth uh, collecting thousands of uh, combos of wrestlers and rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen one hundred forty thousand a bit today. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, you see that result. Uh, yeah. A hundred and eight thousand. Like, it's wow. cool, man. That, that's like one of the things I really like like about Wax uh, and a lot of these projects in general, man. I feel like some of these things are this. This is just like different than a lot of the stuff going on on ETH, uh, and even like you know with Polygon being like you know sort of a low cost like second layer. It, it still doesn't have like at least to my knowledge like some some of these like interesting concepts and stuff. It's, it's cool, even if it's just a click game. I, I like yeah. different stuff. Yeah, it's definitely a start, but um, Hydro, um, 
he made a video not too long ago and he was claiming he's making about seven hundred dollars a day in yeah. wax and stuff so it's it's definitely doing its thing and again there's like swag too that you can get with the wrestlers and then uh, you can go ahead and like equip them and like as jana mess uh mentioned they come with like wrestling you can buy a wrestling ring and i think you share profits or something maybe if uh if people wrestle in your ring maybe or something but they're definitely gearing towards that whole thing so you see, here's <laughs> And you can own like you can earn gold tokens and brawl tokens and and do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. So yeah, man, cool. that's 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 them. And they're also doing a collab with Taco. I know you mentioned your sauce. We're gonna get into that in a few seconds or a few minutes. But um, we can go ahead and move on to this next game. So Wax Rizzle is full of these new play to earn games. Um, Yo, quick question, man. D yeah. The the uh, collab with Binance on that uh project that you were just talking about is that common and are there like other blockchains or projects that are doing like cross blockchain stuff with wax yeah you know what? they're popping up more and more um i'm not sure how many but i don't know if you remember back when we did our um our food drop we'll, we'll probably mention later when we look over the some um, sauces and stuff but um we're building a bridge there's an eth bridge it's almost ready where you can move your wax nfts over to ethereum and move your nf your ethereum nfts over to wax and probably start playing them in the different games you know as, as the development continues and uh but they yeah they have a binance bridge that's working right now and the eth bridge is if it's not working now it's getting real close but yeah i can't wait to move your hot sauce over to ethereum man this is like so that so does that does it clone or is it just like converts it from a wax nft to an ethereum nft somehow or, or like in this case binance or i'm pretty sure it's like how um you're moving like you move over tokens like um like red ping. yeah I'd probably put it like in some kind of escrow and then issue an ethereum token and then when you put when you transfer it back the cool. ethereum token would probably go into some kind of contract and be held there yep. and you could just move about yeah yeah it's, it's pretty dope um it's pretty but again dope. i'm not exactly how sure it's working but it's definitely starting to work and it's coming yeah and that's that's why i moved over to wax to be honest i was like once i heard that i was like look man, i'm gonna build on wax and i'm gonna bring everything back over to eth you know <laughs> it's very cool um, man yeah it's super dope what they're doing over in at wax i'm super excited about the future and uh as i mentioned there's play to earn games coming like left and right over here and this is one of our uh, newer ones this is called Elemental Wars. Um, so Rizzle here, we don't really do like in-depth reviews of the games. We kind of just um, look it over like everyone else. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we find diamonds in the rough and nifties in the wild. So we kind of explore it together. And uh, yeah, so this is Elemental Wars. We go ahead and maybe look at their uh, RPG. I want there to be a really good blockchain RPG. I'm sorry. Did I... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. And um, yeah, feel free to jump in anytime as well and uh, give us your three cents. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the magic. So fire, it's a very dangerous element. Not everyone can tame it. And yet fire skills are among the most powerful ones. They are truly deadly. Thus fire magic deals the most damage. And then they got lands. Lands are an important aspect of the game. They are used to accommodate structures for the province population. Different land plots have their own fertility rates, which define the growth rate of crops and differ in sizes. Mm -hmm. the, the rarest ones have some unique features, which will provide magicians with even more resources. Elemental Wars allows you to have up to three active lands at a time. Every player receives a from starting land plot, entering the game for the first time. Each type of land can be bought or sold on the marketplace, except for the first starting plot. Oh, I like it. That it's, yeah, it's uh, free to play for for those who, who who want to experience the game and the game mechanics. Uh, um, yeah. A lot of those who have a, a, a large entry barrier cannot be played by the masses. So right. I, I love to see it that there there's a like free free land uh, which you cannot sell, which you cannot trade. It's okay. right. It makes sense. Yeah, you don't yeah, want to start making accounts and then just sell. You know, do that whole thing. Um, so kind of similar to Crypto Blades. I don't know if everyone's kind of remembered that one. Uh, it was on Binance. It did really well at first. And then it kind of like, I don't want to say tanked, but it's just like they went way too big, way too fast. So the developers had to make crazy adjustments. And it's, and, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, it looks like they're going to have their own token called eWars. Uh, rewarding players is their goal to create the play to earn system. 
Players can earn E-Wars by playing Elemental Wars and spend it on in-game items and improving their characters. It is also used as a currency on a marketplace. And I believe they have an in, like you were saying, like an in-game um, like exchange, like we were looking at last time, Janet, with that one game. Mm -hmm. In-game making system and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's just uh, maybe kind of look at the tokenomics. Looks like there's a total supply of uh, 210 million reward player rewards 50 percent developers get 20 percent the community is going to go ahead and get 20 percent and private pre-sale of 10 percent let's see what it's what they're all about i know they have like different weapons and stuff like that when i was looking it over um not a bad start 139,000 wax uh, total already um, these are like the lands oh these are the tokens too man they got blood tokens and they have like Chrome tokens and, and some other tokens, and you have to blend like six gold tokens to get the blood token and stuff like that. And it looks like they're going for a pretty nice um, price of 899 wax, and uh, not bad here. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at their templates. So these are like um, some different scrolls. Not sure what they do. They're probably gonna add magic or something to your characters. They got the different lands here, and they all sold out real quick. Here's the chests they got, probably some rewards up in there. Here's some nice. of their weapons. Nice yeah, it's pretty design. cool. You got the vampire staff. Most games that will take energy from them and give it to you. Um, staff of extraction, healer staff, devourer awesome. staff. Uh, yeah, tons of weapons. Um, here's the tokens here, blood tokens, gold tokens, chrome tokens, silver tokens. And I think you can only get those by like blending them together. And uh, yeah, super, they look super sick. So here's the drops. As you can see, they ended. Um, they didn't really sell out as like, you know, for the public, but the white listing sales, like went like super quick. They were gone in like a heartbeat because you get like a small discount on Rizzo when you're like white listed. Um, mm -hmm. We can kind of do that over here on, on Wax. You, you can do like cool blends and stuff. You, you can whitelist oh, people who own a token and, and set up uh, drops for those people who are whitelisted so, so you can really serve your community who are long-term holder and say, hey, you, can, you get an early access or you get a 30% discount. And this is amazing. They're right. doing a lot of neft on, on Nefty blocks. Yeah, yeah. only the people that like would hold that token gets those right. discounts yeah, on the blockchain. No, that's no. cool. Yeah, yeah. So, There's a lot of stuff like that on, on ETH as well. This, this nice. the design of this game looks like very, very cool. I always like think that, you know, in designing a game like this, trying to balance the economics, like once you introduce tokens must be like, a, you know, a mathematical feat of like enormous uh, proportion to try and especially like as it scales or trying to, you know, put something in place that can scale. Uh, I, I also always wonder, I feel like I haven't seen, I don't know uh, about this game, so maybe this uh, is one, but I, I feel like I haven't seen like a really dope, like playable one that that like sort of gets everything right. Like the economics, the, the design, right. the NFTs, but also is like genuinely like a fun RPG. I, I feel like that's like the holy grail that's like everyone's trying to like really figure out uh, or maybe it's out there, man, and I've, I'm, you know, no. just been so heads down and, and you know, haven't discovered it. No, no. Yeah, it's, uh, I, 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 yeah, sorry, go on. Go ahead. No, go, Jana. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, my two cents, uh, I, I've seen a documentary and uh, one of the first RPGs, Ultima Online, uh, the, the creator talked about every time you put something up to farm, people will game it and they will mm -hmm. Do it so hard, uh, you, 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 it's almost impossible to, to create an economy uh, uh, in a game uh, with all the details needed. Uh, so it's uh, really balanced. So it's, in my opinion, uh, I agree with you, it's still the holy grail. And I fear putting out a game on my own because I need so much calculation and tables from from combat calculations uh, to to experience uh, uh, calculations and it's very hard to satisfy uh, everyone there will be some people who are happy because they gamed it or they played it good or have been lucky but for me it's important that i don't lose lose 90 percent uh, of the players uh, uh, unsatisfied so yeah i agree yeah, it's, it's still super early with this technology. So I 
I seriously doubt anyone's gotten it perfect yet. Um, sure, we're a long way off, but um, a lot of people doing a lot of speak stuff and everyone's contributing their share of ideas and it's getting compiled. And uh, yeah, man, it's definitely the future of online gaming in my opinion. I, I was smiling yeah, like, when I saw when when I saw the the staffs uh, the the uh, magic stuff uh, and all the uh, 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 things because this was what what uh, Vitalik like mentioned oh, my 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 assets I earned in my uh, 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 World of Warcraft games are changing they are buffing or uh, or get nerfed or whatever so so I don't I want to have I o want to own my asset and and and, and hold it for 10 years so and no one should be allowed to change it and this was coming from a rpg game and and was explaining why smart contracts should be involved and used and and we, we reached this <laughs> kind of yeah amazing yeah 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 super dope yeah nice um you guys and even with the mutable and unmutable Uh, think of uh, that we have assets like we used uh, with the Pomelo Mana, uh, which gave you to all 24 hours one asset out of the NFT you got. So you mined new assets and, and the mana of your potion uh, lowered by one by every asset it it, 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 it dropped. So so in, in the end, we had the, the mana going to zero And, and, and together with uh, uh, mutable and unmutable, it's so amazing. Sorry. <laughs> I came for gaming. Oh. I came for yeah, gaming. I know. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, came for the technology, stayed for the gaming. Um, so I'm sure you've heard of Joey Chapetta, Rizzle. He does the art vending machines. You know, um, Crypto Skateboards did a drop with him actually not too long ago. Um, he does these really cool art vending machines. And uh, yeah, he's got a new drop. Pretty sure I have something from uh, Joe Chupetta somewhere. Yeah, as well. Yeah, I'll kind of go over his nifty box real quick. This looks like volcanic wheels. These are the art bending machines series three drops. Let's see, looking down the marketplace. That's what we do here, Jet uh, Rizzo. We just kind of go and, and do everything by the hip. Just like some flying skateboard wheels. Some more skateboard stuff. Yeah, I was super stoked to see Marco coming to wax, and then uh, I haven't seen much anymore, but I'm sure he'll definitely pop up again. Let's see if you any kind of cool blends. One thing I really love about wax Rizzle is the blending features. I know um, Ethereum does it too, but it's not as easy as it is here. It's like a one click thing with no gas. Same story. And uh, it's really, really sick to put like two NFTs together and then have a new one pop out, in my, you know, in my opinion, and upgrade it. Yes. Stuff the, like that. Yeah. The jankiness of doing that on ETH is janky. <laughs> it's like, right. You right. gotta really I, do it on like layer two, and then it's like a whole like thing. Yeah. So, yes, man, I, I've experienced it on Wax myself. Uh, actually, with your your project, man, the, you know, just combining some of these things is like so snappy. Um, yeah. yeah. You, you were doing it very, very early on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, looks like he's got some cool holy wheels. I don't know if you know Rizzle Hot Wheels is over on Wax now. They drop like these super dope like collectible cars. They look like exactly how the cars look in the package, except for like virtual. So looks like there's a little bit of a meme here of the holy wheels. And uh, yeah, man, shout out um, Art Vending Machine. You guys are doing big things. I know, hold on one second. They have a couple other things I wanted to kind of look. Artist Money, 10 Tips and Truths. You guys can go over his uh, website over at Joey chapetta.blogspot.com uh, and kind of read up on everything here. Um, some more skateboarding stuff, you know, but everyone knows I love that. And uh, yeah, super sick, super sick. If you go back to his Twitter, I know he has a link tree, I thought. Maybe not. Okay. Ceiling net, that's what we just checked out. Artventingmachine.com. Some more dope art explains everything that he does so uh, we can probably look at this real quick i'll go ahead and speed up the video if it loads Dope. 
pretty dope. Very cool crypto voxels build. Yeah, it, it's actually uplift the world. We have our own. Oh yeah. Uh, crypto voxels now. Yeah, on, on wax. Yeah, yeah man. man. That, we'll talk offline awesome. at some point and I'll catch you up on everything. It's like they're killing it over here on Wax. It's, I'm super excited to see the growth. That's awesome. Amazing. Yeah, it's super amazing. So yeah, everybody, you guys can go ahead and follow Joey uh, Chipetta over on on uh, Twitter, and we'll move on. So this is Taco Rizzle. As I mentioned, as we were talking a little bit about you had the first hot sauce, right, on Wax. Pretty sure it's the first hot sauce that was ever on Wax, but now we have Taco, and they're, one of their specialties is sauces, and they're super dope. They got like a sauce collab with every game, and uh, they're collabing with the blockchain brawlers that we just went over, and um, they're coming out with brawler sauce, you see here. So that's exciting. It's like um, we've been working side by side with Wax Studios to create the ultimate brawlers app tool. Blockchain brawlers players can now brawl, heal their brawlers, withdraw and deposit brawl tokens directly from the app in inside the taco app. So you can like get, withdraw your tokens and stuff actually from this taco app, which is actually doing really big things. They're more of a platform than, you know, an artist. And they really have a lot of cool stuff um, as far as like utility. It's already on the Apple store. You guys can go ahead and download it on Google play if you want. I realized I was muted. I was saying, I was like, when, when Rizzle taco sauce, taco, hit me up. Yeah, man. Uh, we can probably definitely get that rolling. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to manifest, but I'm, Rizzle's definitely the first. Put the stuff first out hot. there and see if it, see if it. Yeah. We you know. need to get like a blend where you can blend the Rizzle hot sauce into the, into some next level taco sauce. Um, they got like lotteries. Again, Rizzle, we kind of shoot by the hip here. We just kind of see what's new. Yeah. It's cool, man. Uh, this is what I spend like right a lot of my day doing and somehow still manage to you know only scratch the surface of what's out there now yeah so, yeah so it's cool doing this with like you know other people and and you know yeah. seeing where uh, it goes I, I'm actually having a great time with this nice yeah we're gonna um find these sauces though it's super important that you see this stuff <laughs> but um yeah guys um tacos doing big things collabing with the Brock chain brawlers these are like these extractors and stuff like that that you can get. I think you get mining bonuses and everything. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll have to do it old school, Jenna, and, and pull up Nefty Blocks real quick. Oh, here we go. Ooh, we're making our way to these hot sauces. So they have like these uh, packs. It's they're probably like extractors and stuff in there. So let's check out the market. All this cool stuff. Everything's kind of like tacoed out. They got like, I think you can get like taco shops and stuff like that and earn with those. Let's see. Lens, gotta do some sauce plants here. See how we can find these sauces, man. Let's go over to Atomic real quick, guys. Our Memberships, tickets, promo, bonus, tools, ingredients. Okay, we got some ingredients. Yeah, these sauces are here somewhere, and there's a ton of them. I like the ingredients. Yeah, the there's ingredients super, dope. Dope. <laughs> super dope. Extractors, packs. You know what? Let's just go ahead and um, jump in and see if we can look at their templates. There's some brawler sauce. That's what the brawler sauce looks like. Let's see schemas, huh? There we go. So look at all these sauces, man. They got Alcor sauce, which is our exchange. It's like a uni swap, but there's no gas, so it's super cool. Alien World sauce. <laughs> That's another game on Wax. You might have heard of it. Just the uplift that world that we saw just now in the, the couple of voxels. Um, Type of thing so they got a sauce collab there 
You got look at all these sauces. Reptilium sauce. <laughs> I'm curious to see exactly what they do. I know they definitely have um, utilities. So it's like our planet sauce. You know, I'm sure you've heard of our planet results pretty big. They kind of like really created this really dope staking model. Yeah, I hold some our planet stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're definitely still working on their thing. Uh, Kate sauce, another uh, newcomer that's doing amazing wax. So yeah, man, I can't wait to get the Rizzle sauce here. It's going to be super exciting. If we do do like a skate coin collab, we will definitely make it sure that it's the Rizzle food token sauce. Like yes. 100%. 100% now. <laughs> yeah. So again, everybody, they're um, collabing with rock, uh, blockchain brawlers. So go ahead and uh, pick up some brawler sauce, however that works. It's like dope. Pink sauce. And uh, yeah, uh, they're not cheap. <laughs> Lowest listing is uh, 150 wax. So, so do you know man is so is the way i'm trying to like figure out exactly what their angle is is like do these nfts that they're making with all these different themes like do something for all those different projects or is it just like a like a fan collectible thing or like uh i'm not exactly sure but knowing uh these guys i'm sure there's a utility like i think the sauce was was healing your brawler that um you know what I'm saying? From damage, I think that's what it's it is. cool, man. Yeah. It's a very interesting concept. Yeah, it's super in depth. So yeah, man, you can check it out later. Go to um their Twitter, you know, and, and check out all the links. And, it's like And even cool. if it's not part of a recipe or has any usability, the cool thing with the blend recipes is, is after delivering those NFTs, you can create it later. You can always come back and say, okay, I got like uh, some uh, collectors from back in uh, the days uh, five years ago and, and I need to do something. And uh, you can always use the old, maybe if it's not, if it was just an icon or something or a, a PO app, you can always use this PO app to blend it in something new. Like, oh, now, now, now I give, give you the recognition from back in the days. Yeah. Yeah. So these are some of their blends to get this, you would need like all of this and then you get your stuff. Empty result. I'm not sure. I've never seen empty results before. That's cool. Yeah. Like I said, we kind of just do quick reviews. So I don't want to spend too much time on stuff and then take away from others. Have you ever heard of Senor Lupe? Yes, I think I have some uh, a senior Lupe <laughs> NFT or two somewhere as well. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> nice. Yeah, man, he's doing huge things on Wax. He's the self-stated goal of, of dominating Atomic Hub. And as we say all the time, he's pretty much doing it. And uh, yeah, he lives over at Rancho Del Lupe. And he's collabing with these guys, Wax Balls, this time to create some pretty like dope-looking chummy balls and a dope chummy head. And as we were talking about blends just a minute ago, Rizzo, that's how you get this guy. You have to like blend them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So like, here's the drop over on wax, right? You get a chummy ball, which, oh man, I want to gra grab this. Uh, I got to get, I got to get, a, I got to get offline and get one of these, man, real quick, but uh, just playing. But yeah, so you would go ahead and have to, uh, oh, it's not here. I think it's on maybe um, Lupe's It's on Lupe's blend, yeah. Let's see, Senor Lupe. Go ahead and check his nephew blocks. Yeah, he's the he does the chummies. They're like profile pictures of like the horse. And uh, man, they did really well. And they're super dope, different variations. And uh, every time they're like dropped, they're sold out, and it's super hard to get get them on the whole um, on the auctions and stuff. I know Martin's. He's he's always constantly trying to get a chummy, and it's like. Sometimes he gets them in, but most of the time he doesn't. They're just like outbid. Like as soon as you put a bid in, there's another one. Um, but yeah, let's check a look at the blend. And yeah, I don't see them. I, I, they were up a minute, like not too long ago. Let's go ahead and we'll just look here. That's that's uh, lots of colors, neon and crazy design from the artist's mind. Gross chummy head. Oh, dropping tomorrow. Yeah, that's probably why I'm not up today. But yeah, you need to plan. 
you need to blend the wax ball and like this fly together and then you can like get the chummy head. It's pretty sick. Let's see. Yeah. We definitely mention Lupe every, he's got like collabs all day. Ooh, look, gross chummy head. Bug line. 10 max mints. Yeah, he's always got um, low mints and stuff like that, um, low supply. Let's see if we can just go real quick while we're going to move on. Because um, everybody knows about about Chummies and uh, and Lupe and stuff. So the community doesn't really need to know too much about this. But since you're here, it's kind of good to show you what's up. And as you can see, a decent uh, like beat. <laughs> uh, not crazy. Not crazy. Not, no. Market fee is now part of our show. <laughs> right? Thank yeah, you, I'm Mark. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to let you off easy, Zuckerberg. You know, so you better give us a follow. Packs. Oh, I don't have any packs. We'll go look at blends one more time. Let's see. Well, here's a free. You can friends tokens and stuff. So you need all these different things to get like this guy. And you get like the diamond lupe. <laughs> all these friends tokens requirements. You need all these here. Yeah, super dope technology. I can't wait to catch up with you offline and show you all this stuff. And uh, we can kind of pretty much discuss what we can do with those, that hot sauce for sure. So shout out Lupe, everybody. Um, you guys better get on it because they're definitely not going to last long. Here is a blend of the Pizza Queen. This might be actually Pizza Ham that we're going to look over later. But yeah, nice. Out of stock. It's already gone. Oh, here. Here's the, you need a chummy ball and you need the bug light to get the loop ahead. And I was actually planning on doing that real quick, but it's already scooped. Sold out. Only 10. So that's sick, whoever got those. All right, so moving on, have you ever heard of Crypto Swatch? Um, they're basically... Yeah. They're basically NFTs of different swatches. Uh, coming out of Chicago, and they do lots of collabs, and this time they're collabing with the, with the Tuckles. I'm sorry, guys, can you hear me and everything? Yes. Okay, sweet. Yeah, we, we run into snacks from time to time, so I like to check. Um, we're pretty new at doing this, but uh, that's how we roll. Live and direct, raw and uncut. So yeah, crypto swatches, they have these different swatch NFTs, and then, like we were mentioning with the blends, you can blend them together at, for like different colors, different backgrounds, different collabs. In this case, you have like the duckles and then there's like a grayscale version. And then you have to have this template, which is 000416 of Crypto Swatch. And you blend it all together and then you get like the complete duckles, like rare NFT. And let's see if we can kind of check it out. That's the duckles here. I'm going to go ahead and close this stuff. I okay. didn't. I like the duckles. <laughs> yeah, the duckles are dope. They they actually have like um like a show. They did episode one, and now it's like episode two is coming, and um, you can read it like on their website and stuff. So there's like a utility there. This one's pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, this is definitely the kind of stuff that you love, especially this dude, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see if we can find the blend. Nefty blocks and crypto swatch. So this is the crypto swatch Nefty blocks. This is the Duckles uh, swatch that you'll need. This is the gray scale, right? And then we'll go to like blends. You gotta blend them together. So to get the Duckles collaboration, like official NFT, you would get, you would need these. All Five these available out of 25. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super proud of Wax. They're like, you know, they keep it. And they keep the drops like you know like low low supply so it makes it really cool to collect you know it really gives you an incentive to like get in there and get that stuff because it really doesn't last long so that's kind of how that goes these are all other um previous drops where you can get these different swatches and blend them all together and, and get your doper nft you know your upgrade we did a show on this one this is another one you will probably like. It's Dog Squad NFT Rizzle. They give um, to like you know me. homeless dogs some you know of their style. Oh, yeah. that's what a great cause too. But yes, yeah, you know my cool. you know my aesthetic. 
Heck yeah, man. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just in case everyone uh, doesn't know our backstory, me and Rizzle, like we met a long time ago on, uh, on Scent, and you guys can actually check that at beta.scent, I believe is, is where it's at, Rizzle. And um, yeah, we met there, and Rizzle's uh, pretty much kind of like my mentor. I followed all his stuff, and um, I watched how he does things, and that's how I learned what I do. And that's oh, uh, that's that's what led to me meeting yeah. Jana and Martin and everything, and that's that's and now we're on the show together. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, crazy. And, uh, yeah. crazy. <laughs> it is right, crazy. it's crazy, but that's the you know that's the beauty of the crypto space. It's it's a tight community, and there's so many opportunities. And uh, if you get on and you, and, you, and you're, you love crypto and it shows, it's like you're well you're welcomed with with open arms. You know. Yes, I agree. Kind of like skate community. So it's just a really tight knit. Oh, look it. The Duckles retweeted us. Hey, Duckles, thank you. Nice. Yeah. Hey, Duckles. Yeah, man. Super dope. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right. So that's Duckles and um, and Crypto Swatch Rizzle. Super dope stuff they're doing. You would definitely want to um, keep your eye on, on both of those projects because they're both doing big things. So here's another game, Rizzo, another play to earn game. It's called the first 3D card game on the Wax blockchain, the new portal to the metaverse. And, uh, you know, this is kind of where I stopped um, getting into really researching these things. It got kind of late, but um, I did check it out and it looks super interesting. Uh, we can kind of go ahead and let me catch up to, to the links here. So here's their website. It's called Unlinked. It's an NFT based metaverse developed on the blockchain. As you can see already, it's a super like dope glitchy art website. I was actually trying to do something like a glitch art website and it's like, it was really difficult, but this shit looks really tight. Um, explore a sci-fi metaverse, build a life in a world on the edge, rise to success, uh, success. Basically, it's like a world, I think it's the future where earth and there might be other planets where everyone is kind of like resource hungry and there's there's not enough resources to go around and everybody plays like this game. And uh, we'll kind of get into it here. They, they play this game to like survive, you know what I'm saying? And like the, the people that are really good at the game are like celebrities and they do really good. They're like, you know, the richer, higher class people. Ready player and one type of type of Kind of, yeah. It, everybody who plays this game, like it's, it's literally the backbone of the economy, like of the whole universe. Let's see if like, we can kind of get in there. Uh, hey, another video. Let's see how long it is. I always like to speed them up, guys. So. No, don't speed up the music. <laughs> no problem. Let's, let's uh, go ahead and watch it normal. amazing Rizzo, right like uh, how far the NFTs dope. have come you know yeah but, trailer's uh, dope man i'm like i want i want the game to be as good as the trailer looks <laughs> yeah <laughs> always <That is> sick. <laughs> hopefully it is um let's see if we can get any backstory here 
Okay, so like I was saying, uh, the game is set on a future solar system in the late 22nd century. This hyper-connected solar system is in chaos because the teleportation infrastructure, the portals that connect every aspect of people's lives have been cut off. Prior to this unlinking, hence the name, technological, uh, technological powers, my bad guys, progress and enabled humanity to settle all over the uh, solar system. Planets and satellites, including Mars, the Moon, Titan, Ganymede, Europa, and they included us. You know, I, some of these these words, man, they're hard for me to, to pronounce with the low text. But yeah, they're home to large human col uh, colonies, all of which are under the Earth's political, administrative, and e economic control, which probably can't be good. <laughs> By now, mankind and its satellite col colonies are struggling to adapt to a new fragmented reality where transportation, communication, and movement are not as simple as they once were. Billions of people are still lost and vulnerable, cut off from the lives they knew, and in this difficult climate, multiple factions have emerged. As chaos reigns in the solar system, people have been forced to develop a new way to survive since the borders were cut off. A card game is back in vogue. One that was once popular among young people in the 21st century, right, <laughs> NFTs. Now that game has become a serious thing, both a social phenomenon and a new form of exchange in these dark times, right? Maybe that's where we're going with NFTs. It is played by people of all ages, all social groups, and is used to substitute for buying and selling. People use these cards, known in, on the streets as links, to challenge others in the hopes of getting more money and resources. They can gamble everything the few supplies they have, their possessions, even their life. They have become many people's only means of survival. The game is called Disorder, and its best players are referred to as Sharpers. Their philosophy is that it all starts with a card. The right card can get you anything. I mean, kind of like now, right? If you got an ape, <laughs> you can get a restaurant, you can get a brand. <laughs> so, uh, in, you know, in this world, um, shout out apes. In this world, you are sharper. You are a sharper, an expert card player, taking on other players for resources, money, and your survival. So yeah, it's kind of like right in the, re in the in the future. It's all about NFTs. It's all about a card game. If, if you're really good at that game, you're a celebrity, and uh, there's much riches to be earned. The better uh, skills you have in the game. So that's kind of cool. That's unlinked. What do you think about that, Rizzle? I can't really tell. I'm like, is this a, just a card, like a card, essentially a gambling card game with like a really interesting backstory or is, is, does this get actually rolled into some sort of like RPG metaverse type of thingy? Uh, it looked like there are two phases of it. So I'm wondering maybe phase one is sort of like they roll out the card game and phase two is let's check it out more to it. I, I'm not. Yeah. Let's check it out. Uh, Let's see the login here and see what happens. I know a lot of people love the card games. The card games are, are just like not my thing personally. I don't have anything right. against them, but I, I've just never like really gotten in, in, into them. Uh, but that's not to say they aren't cool. Right. Yeah. A lot of games right now, a lot of NFT games are card games because like the, the technology is still kind of young and it's yeah. like super expensive to like, you know what I'm saying? Pay high, high end game studios to like do their thing. Uh, and totally. A and lot of high end it oh, was yeah. sort of the the the, the uh, um, <laughs> no, I'm missing the word. <laughs> Jumping in and forgetting what uh, what to say. Uh, it's a normal thing. Uh, if uh, NFTs are collectibles, and car a lot of card collectibles are out, and as we know, card collectibles from these those card games with different stats, it, it fits that kind of the next thing is that we play play with these cards but but i agree i i, I love to to see more cardless games but but yeah. uh, it seems yeah. so obvious They're out there. but i think every single game pretty much right now is, is actually like using a card which nft you know what i'm saying might as well say nft instead of cards but um yeah like jenna was saying it's cool to like play with your collectible so it kind of gives it like some extra utility and then uh, and a way to kind of earn with them but yeah, yeah, cool. but um, yeah, big things. I, I I like what I see. The like you said, the I hope the game is as good as the trailer because that shit looked really dope. dope. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And uh, yeah, um, that's what we do here, guys. We just kind of like go through it and we find the diamonds in the rough. And uh, not too sure if this is a diamond yet, but it's looking really good. 
um, you know, we'll let the audience go ahead and do some more research on their own. And, uh, Definitely nice uh, trailer, nice backstory. Uh, the the yeah. card game, card game you, you just showed on the stream looked like you you can put on a, a commander or, or a explorer, or whatever, a person with with other utilities, and you send it into a mission. Um, you you see what we Rizzle said. We have two phases on the left. Phase one, early game. This is uh, seems the only card game, and metaverse is on phase two. Let's see what what the metaverse looks like. Yeah, nice. Land on a Super planet dope. and uh, play with the other players. You you. Let's see. Uh, take a look if they have what their stuff looks like. There's some of the NFTs. Pretty nice looking design. We got uh, Crestwell's chains, more weapons and stuff. So yeah, it looks like they're definitely a card game, but uh, it looks like there's going to be a lot of different things you can do. A lot of weapons, packs. I love packs. Everyone loves packs. Pulse guns. So yeah, let's see if, if everybody's got what it takes to survive in this <laughs> unlinked universe. Yeah, I'm, I'm super dope. To, um, super excited to um, give it a try. But yeah, yeah, cool. I think it's really cool. We're gonna go ahead and move on. Still got a few more things to review. Speaking of balls, right? More balls. We had wax balls, and now there's that was collabing with Hupe, and now there's this called Goo Balls. And like Goo Balls ones. is. I'll probably have to hop off after uh, this one just so you guys know. But I appreciate okay, you no problem, having bro. me here. I would love to yeah. see the Goo Balls. For sure. Thanks for joining us. Um, Super dope. So yeah, these are Goo Balls. They're going to be collabing with Future Relic. And these are kind of like the Goo Balls here. Oh my God, I love these. Yeah, <laughs> I remember the Google, the googly eyes that you used to always remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah uh, since you're gonna hop off, Rizzo, my, now might actually be a good time to kind of like um, ask you, so what's the one NFT that you will never sell or trade? It's kind of a wax tweet here. Uh, mine is the, obviously, right? The token smart serial mint number one. I'll never let that go. I don't care what you guys offer me, you know, maybe a billion or something, but um, yeah, man, you'd have to pry this out of my dead hands. Um, uh, it need, needs to change 10 people's lives. Let's, let's say it like this. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Rizzle? Do you have like one NFT in your collection that you would just never get rid of? Yeah, uh, I, I probably have two, man. Uh, I, the first NFT I ever got it was before I even know what NFTs were uh, on scent. Uh, Chuck, I, I think it was Chucky Otaku. I don't know if you remember the name or not, uh, but he was making NFTs and was just like, if you want an NFT, send me an idea of like what you want. And I'll just like draw one up for you and send it to your Ethereum wallet. And I was like, okay, that's cool. I like free stuff. And so I was like a giant friendly potato. Uh, and so the first NFT I, I own or ever got was this giant friendly potato, uh, you know, for free from Chucky from Scent. Uh, and that, you know, has, you know, some sort of priceless, uh, you know, memories uh, associated with it. Uh, and feel the same way about like my my OG avatar that I used as my profile picture for a long time it was like you know when, when yeah. I went full time NFT that was like something uh, Jim gave me and and so that uh, has you know a lot of significance and meaning and you, uh, also you know sort of the birth of the on chain like narrative and everything so that's also like very uh, priceless to me so I would I would say those two man. Uh, I have all those food tokens, man, and love that. I was just posting the Trizzlet one uh, the other day, man. I saw. Uh, I, and, saw. And I know we've been kicking around the idea of, of rebooting the food drive right. and doing something That's along right. those lines again. So, you know. Yeah, man. Food Definitely food. keep in touch with that one. So, yeah, Definitely. I guess this might be a good time to say goodbye to Rizzle, everybody. Um, super hey. dope for having you on the show, man. Yo, thanks for having me on and uh, allowing me to show my project tomorrow and hang out with y'all and uh, check out check out the cool stuff going on in WAC. So uh, appreciate both right of you. And uh, we'll catch y'all in the metaverse. Sweet. Thank, Thank you, you so Rizzle. Much. The real one, not the 47.5% one. You know. Right, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, man. Expensive one. All right.
Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, <laughs> these are Jana's two NFTs that she's um, claiming that she'll never get rid of. And uh, yeah, you want to explain maybe why? Um, yeah, it's uh, the the uh, Wax Mainnet artwork uh, Cheese Man created um, even before Atomic Hub was, was created. It was a, a simple asset standard and uh, he, I, I'm not sure if it was even on the on the test uh, net uh, early days not sure but but he created new ones and distributed them to those who, who hold the old ones and um, yeah this is really early days and uh, the second one is atomic hub beta award uh, they have been sending oh. those out uh, really by by uh, counting uh, the first uh, 50 or 100 people, 100 I think, uh, who joined the Telegram uh, of, uh, of of Atomic Hub. So so wow. I've been around the 50th person uh, joining the, their uh -huh. Telegram on Atomic Hub, yeah. and um, they're priceless. They're priceless. Right. Uh, they are. Like you said, you, you cannot price such a stuff in. Uh, I, 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 I'm not thinking of selling it ever, but but s s s some stuff might happen, uh, like 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 you said, uh, ten, ten, or like I said, ten x uh, life changing money, or uh, maybe someone from Atomic Hub uh, reached out and says, "Hey, we we're, we're giving back, uh, we we're buying back, and uh, do you want to be?" Yeah, yeah. maybe, but yeah, you I never know. Yeah, you never know. I'm um, like. Uh, Atomic might come out with a coin or whatever, you know, um, I would love to see that, but, and who knows, you know, you might get dropped off some of those coins because you were such an early adopter and stuff like that. That's kind of how crypto works, guys. Um, too bad Rizzo wasn't st not still here. I wanted to ask him what he thought maybe about uh, the difference between holding and, and flipping, you know, what, what he thought was better. But I think from my experience in, in, in this whole pay, uh, space, the cryptocurrency space is do hold, hold your stuff. It's, it's the best bet. Um, there's so many things that I regret, you know, that I wish I still had, but, you know, just to make a few bucks on the side or whatever, but, um, you know, it helped at the time and it's always nice to make money off of your investments, but yeah, my experience, you want to hold. What do you think, Jenna? Yeah, if you're not a trader, if you're not uh, uh, have have the blood in your veins uh, to 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 do good trades and uh, uh, keep up with the market, uh, uh, hold hold. Uh, there are so many NFTs uh, which uh, would would have been good to sell in the early beginning when when a, a hype roll of the pack drop or something uh, came in, but but it now trading them would be worse so so holding them makes sense because you go now for the long term you go for a street fighter capcom for example nft uh, which you have in 10 years still and and then it's the same effect uh, like like the the stuff you collect now from your childhood uh, like a a uh, plastic figure of a transformer yeah. or a he-man or something you pay 50 bucks now to get one in a good condition uh, yeah exactly at least in a yeah. good condition for your for your uh, uh, um, shelf and um, uh, same is with nft at the moment uh, uh, everyone is satisfied but but these waves kick in in two years in four years in six years in ten years and you always have to decide oh this is this is a wave i i could sell it for profit now i wasn't in profit for long but but don't sell it if you don't need the money because the right. long term Actually. will give you give you the profit of it's like the big bit like bitcoin um, and I don't think those NFTs uh, get neglected. Uh, and uh, even even GBK uh, uh, guys uh, said in in when they they had the f first and second drop around in an interview, uh, we want other people to build with these NFTs, and they are on chain. They if if they allow it you can build anything you can build a trading card game with gpks give gives them stats and uh yeah possibilities are endless and uh you know uh, one of my favorite dudes in the space is william quigley um he says it uh gary vanacek says it mark cuban says it all these like influential guys 
in the future or even now, people are gonna actually look inside of your wallet to kind of see like what kind of dude you are or what kind of person you are. And it's like, what NFTs is this is this guy collecting? You know, how long has he been in the space? Um, let me see what he's all about. Let me check his wallet. And they're gonna know kind of your personality, right? And your art vibe and everything by the NFTs that you hold. So that's another thing, you know? It's, uh, it's almost like the new social media. It's like right now everybody looks on your social media, your posts and stuff. In the future, I believe, as same as a lot of other people, your wallet is going to speak for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so, yeah, that's another good reason why you might want to hold something. Exactly. Exactly. My wallet, when I look through my wallet, I, I see all those stories. It's like right. watching watching, watching a photo album uh, and, and uh, reminiscing uh, when, when I see uh, my, my NFTs from back back in, in, in uh, three years ago. There was uh, uh, the Blockchain Heroes event. Uh, NFT, whatever I can't remember really, but but uh, they 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 gathered all the guys who who started an NFT marketplace, like uh, someone from Nifty Gateway, Devin Finch, Fincher from from OpenSea, and all these guys haven't been like uh, superstars like they are today and uh, right. yeah we received little uh, uh, headshot nfts uh, and and i always look at them like ah like, it's it reminds me of of of, of those days and um, this yeah. is super amazing yeah awesome okay cool yeah we were gonna wrap up the show with that but since Rizzo had to go out soon i kind of wanted to um you know hear his nfts and stuff so let's get back to um The reviews, uh, we just showed you Wack, um, Goo Balls, and they're collabing here with Future Relic. Um, to be honest, I don't know anything about this Future Relic collection, John. I don't know if you've seen them around. Yes, I, I even talked to him. Uh, the creator, it's a it's a one-man project. Uh, he's, he's from Canada, uh, and um, it's a story-based uh, uh, thing. I, I'm not sure about the the Wellkeeper, the new collection. Uh, I, I I saw the old collection, it, and it was uh, a story about someone who wanted to do films, and and with with the NFTs, you have you 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 have uh, kind of the the parts of the story, um, and um, yeah. Right. I remember, yeah, I was reviewing it now. Yeah, I remember. Um, it's about the filmmaking experience. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Super sick. Oh, the internet. Shit. Yes, exactly. It was with the telegrams. Yes, the telegram where where, where kind of the needs or, or, or uh, like, uh, hey, we need someone uh, for the camera uh, and application stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Film box. Oh, nice. Oh, super dope. Yeah definitely something i'm going to want to get into a little more deep um i guess uh we got a little bit what what time frame are you looking at jenna how's the time looking for you uh sure. i'm always in a hurry my my next stream is starting in 30 minutes um okay. so we'll let the, uh, check out we the are in for one and a half hour good time no. again <laughs> what a show. yeah these are the blends everybody definitely check it out um, really interesting to see what they're going to be doing in the future. Yeah, and right. and and, and uh, I would like to feature feature uh, a little bit more details about the project. He sees uh, uh, been uh, early in with his uh, uh, Genesis project and uh, it uh, the graphics and 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 everything how it's made looks super dope. So so uh, have a look so we can can present the project. Uh, in a yeah. later show again uh, and uh, sure. we, we, we 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 might call even some people uh, out of the project like like Rizzle today uh, onto our stage yeah. um, um yeah. If, we'll if, definitely you, if you want just reach out uh, to us uh, there's always a free spot uh, at the moment we didn't reach out to the project we will do in future but uh, if if you want to jump in give us a small a short message and Sure, for sure. So moving on, uh, we got to kind of speed it up a little, but um, this is super dope here. Uh, we got Cosmos 11. Uh, actually, I think Hydro did some kind of preview on them. Uh, on It's on NFT Insider, if I'm not mistaken. 
but uh, it's a uh, like a, a football management type of deal. So we uh, make your teams; they can play the first ever NFT play to earn football manager game in the Cosmos. And um, I'll go ahead and check them out real quick. It's pretty cool. Um, I used to really love playing football games when I was a kid and stuff. And uh, this is now coming to a blockchain with your collectibles, and you can. Um, there's like managers, medics, and I believe like coaches. Super cool. Let's, yeah. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Um, the team. Here's the team. Any big things. Nice looking team. And uh, I really want to kind of look at the. Uh, we got a staking system going. So yeah, it's kind of like a look at the game. We don't really have any, any NFTs yet, but um, you got players, you got coaches, and you'll have medics. And there's going to be uh, staking, a vault, facilities, uh, tournaments. And this is what it's going to, uh, so far, what it's looking like. You got this little football field. I'm not entirely sure how the mechanics are going to go but that's kind of what we'd love to do here is get things started and you guys can go ahead and check it out yourselves and also let me know in the comments um if anyone's played this game and how it goes um, we'll definitely register later but um yeah shout out to cosmos 11 and I think you guys are doing a really good thing and, uh, everybody should probably check out the nft insider review for more information on that and uh, yeah we're going to go ahead and move on Last but not least, Jenna, uh, we got Pizza Slice. I don't know if you've heard of them, but um, oh, yes. obviously they revolve around pizzas. Oh, okay, so maybe you can kind of explain maybe a little bit what you know about them. Uh, not a lot. I've seen uh, the Pizza Slices. Uh, they've been uh, on Atomic Hub. And I'm not sure if we have mentioned the Pizza Slice in an earlier call in a side note i i think i think we mentioned it here but uh yeah i've seen them i i've no idea uh, uh what's behind the project but when i see the pizza uh, i want to order <laughs> one for sure right. yeah. they're looking you know, tasty it's definitely making me hungry for sure um and this looks like another cross-chain type of deal where the artists are coming over to uh wax uh, to showcase their stuff on multiple chains these are the ones that you can find on OpenSea. Uh, super decent uh, floor price, um, 38 owners, you know, there's only 100 items, so it's definitely early and to get in here and get these pizza slice. Um, shit, man, it's really making me want to drop some Ethereum, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and check out their stuff on... Oh, look, they did a collab with Wax Balls. They're doing a collab with... Um, e. Oh, there's actually one more after this, Jenna. Let's see. Oh, look, bake to order tokens, chummy edition, pizza hands. Not bad, not bad. Nice thing. We got some uh, activity going. These are the ones on wax. These are cool. It's like different hands with their pizzas. Super dope. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, anybody out there that loves pizza and you love collabs and you love wax, uh, this is definitely the collection for you. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, everybody. You guys can check out their link tweet, uh, link tree. Go ahead and give them a follow over at uh, NFT Pizza on Twitter, and uh, let us know in the comments what you think about this collection. I think it's super dope. So, last but not least, this is another uh, kind of like I wouldn't say like the bun bills. This is more of an art based thing. It looks like, um, but this is us on new drop on wax. Um, that's a super dope. And um, they're actually doing a collab here with uh, Corporate World. And uh, Corporate World's actually one of my favorite collections on Wax. They do a uh, super amount of collabs. I'd love to do something with them with Skatecoin at some point. Um, as you can see, it's sensitive content, uh, content. This profile may contain content that is not appropriate for all audiences. Do you want to go back? You want to continue? We're going to continue. Let's check them out on Nefty real quick. They're called a little creation. Uh, this is their stuff. It's super like art, artsy, right? And um, yeah, 
too bad Rizzo's not here again. I wanted to kind of get his perspective on, you know, if it's if it's nice or appropriate to do these kind of things. I believe it's to, uh, perfectly fine. As Martin mentioned, there's like no lines that are being crossed. So it's just uh, nothing wrong with mother nature, right? And um, yeah, definitely get your hands on some of these. Definitely dope, low supplies. The, the, uh, the topic great. itself, is, it, it's not, it's not uh, my, my opinion. <laughs> Let me, uh, it's not a bad topic. Uh, if, you, if you do bad things with stuff, uh, uh, you do bad things. But, but the topic yeah. itself uh, uh, can be beautiful, as you can see. So uh, yeah. if there's happening any abusement with NFTs and uh, whatever uh, we, we, we call, uh, in, the, in this case, bad porn, um, yeah, um, this is bad, but, but this is uh, art. And uh, uh, we, have, we have the uh, warning for everyone uh, and, and children. Um, uh, in, in future, I, I would say, uh, um, uh, as the internet is re really scary and uh, uh, can be not a good place for kids, it might change a little bit, like, like Atomic Hub at in the beginning, beginning everything blurred out. Uh, and you needed to check. Uh, uh, ex uh, it's okay. It's uh, yeah. well, it's super nice. I nice. Let's see it's animated. Seen right, it. I saw that. Yeah, I was checking that out. So there you go, everybody. Straight from a woman's perspective, um, it doesn't seem to be bothering her. So why why would it bother anyone else? Um, let us know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. And uh, like I mentioned, they're doing a collab here with Corporate World. Um, let's see if we can see which one it's about don't see any more information i might have to check their instagram out real fast that their art on insta people might know that um a lot of artists come from instagram and they get kind of famous and they drop their stuff over on in the nft world so yeah, that's cool. Good to hear your perspective on that, Jana. And um, like I said, they are collabing with the corporate world. I'll probably let you guys go ahead and find that drop. As we were saying, uh, what's what's that one NFT that you will never sell or trade? Uh, post a screenshot, right? And watch on Twitter. And we'd like to hear from you guys too. Uh, let us know in the comments what, what that one NFT is that you'll never get rid of. Um, that's a very interesting subject. And um, I guess at this time, I be a pretty good time to end the show. And um, thank you everybody for watching. We'll be back next week with more drops and anything that we missed here with the artists and stuff. We're always going to revisit these artists. So there'll be more to come. And um, another thing you can do in the comments, just shout out and tell us uh, what we, what artists you would like us to review. And, uh, and we'll take it from there. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, it's been a great show. We went a little longer than expected. And um, yeah, lots of diamonds this time. Uh, any last words, Jana? Yes, when it takes longer, longer, it was really fun and we enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. We are doing it for us, uh, ourselves and you guys. So um, yeah. leave a yeah. comment, leave, 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 leave a heart, a fire, whatever emoji and uh, spread some love. Uh, see you next week. See you next week, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Bye bye. Peace.